This is the operator training video for the Centerline by Hobart Edge Series Slicers. Who's ready to have some fun? Not so fast. We have some very important safety information to go over with you first. Safety devices incorporated in this slicer must be in their correct operation position anytime the slicer is in use. The knife cover should already be secured in place. Check by tightening the knife cover knob clockwise. Now, now, the ring guard is not removable. The meat grip helps secure product in position and must be used when slicing short ends to keep your hands away from the knife. When the slicer is not running, the index knob must be turned fully clockwise so the gauge plate covers the knife edge. Warning, rotating knife, unplug power cord before cleaning, servicing, or removing parts. Replace parts before use. We're going to be talking about both automatic and manual slicers. When a feature is discussed that doesn't pertain to all slicers, you will hear a tone. Accompanied by helpful graphics showing the models covered. Got it? Good. Now let's get slicing. With the gauge plate fully closed, pull the product tray forward until it stops. With the meat grip out of the way, you can place the product to be sliced on the product tray. Set the meat grip against the product. Turn the slicer on by pressing the switch on. For automatic slicers, change the lever to the automatic position. Turn the slicer on by pressing the blade power switch to on. Then press the automatic power button. If the meat grip is not needed, you can move it out of the way. Store it out of the way by lifting it to the top of the meat grip rod and rotating it behind the product tray. Allow it to rest in the small notch of the upper product tray slot. Adjust the gauge plate to obtain the desired slice thickness by turning the index knob. Use the carriage handle to move the carriage back and forth to slice. During automatic slicing, the off button can be pressed to stop the slicer. The product tray will stop moving immediately. As you are aware, slicers must be kept thoroughly clean, rinsed, and sanitized at the end of each day. Or if the slicer has been idle for an extended time. A couple of quick warnings before we get started. Warning, the slicer knife is very sharp. Exercise extreme caution when working near the knife. Warning, unplug the machine power cord and turn the index knob fully clockwise to close the gauge plate before cleaning the slicer. Disassemble all removable slicer parts. Let's slow that down for the newbies. Pull product tray to the home position. Unscrew the knob on the product tray and lift to remove. Unscrew the meat grip knob in order to extract the meat grip rod from the product tray. With the product tray removed, ensure the index knob is fully closed. Unscrew the knife cover knob. Push the knob to remove the knife cover. Remove both the knife cover and the knife cover knob. Remove the slice deflector by sliding the deflector downward to the elongated slots. Clean the knife by wiping outward from the center. To clean the ring guard, work a moistened paper towel between the ring guard and the knife. Insert the towel at the base of the ring guard. Manually rotate the knife to wipe the ring guard and edge of the guard plate. Wash all surfaces of the machine with warm soapy water, a towel, and mild detergent. Also wash surfaces where food or liquid can accumulate or where there is frequent hand contact including handles, knobs, and the control panel. Use generous amounts of soapy water on the sharpener hardware and the knife hub. No, not that much. Each time the sharpening stone is used, the sharpening stone should be examined for cleanliness. Scrub stones with a stiff bristle brush. Clean all removable parts with water, a towel, and mild detergent. Rinse with water and a clean towel. After dipping in sanitizer, let the parts air dry. Reassembling the slicer. To replace the knife cover, position the cover over the hub. Lower until the cover is secured in place. 
Tighten the knife cover knob so the threads at the end of the rod screw into the threaded hub underneath the knife cover. Reassemble the sharpener by lowering it onto the sharpener post. Lower the product tray onto the carriage and tighten the knob clockwise until snug. Thread the meat grip rod into the product tray extension and then insert into the meat grip. Tighten rod clockwise until snug. There you go. Clean as a whistle. Whistle not provided. A couple of notes, so pay attention. Excessive amounts of sanitizer and use of products not formulated for aluminum may void your Hobart warranty. Do not wash any slicer components in a dishwasher. Do not hose down slicer or splash excessively with water. Use only products formulated to be safe on stainless steel or aluminum. Do not exceed the chemical manufacturer's recommended concentrations for detergent or sanitizer. Do not clean any part of the slicer with a steel pad. Maintenance and troubleshoot. At least once every six months, and more often if necessary, inspect all gaskets. Gaskets are located between the product table and the extension between the handle and the meat pusher, between the product table and the thumb guard, the switches, between the handle and the product table support. To sharpen the knife, first turn the index knob fully clockwise to close the gauge plate and unplug the machine. Remove the knife cover by unscrewing the knob and lifting it off the slicer. Plug in the machine and turn the machine on. Pull the sharpener handle forward for 15 seconds and release. Turn the slicer off. Unplug the machine power cord. Clean and sanitize the slicer as outlined in the cleaning section. Replace the knife cover. Maintain smooth slicing by applying a few drops of mineral oil on the carriage slide rod underneath the slicer base. Do not use vegetable oil. Contact your local Hobart Authorized Service Office for any repairs or adjustment needed on this equipment. This is the end of the operator training video for the Centerline by Hobart Edge Series Slicers.